Hey folks, Orlando Prepper coming at you again. You know, I've done a series of videos on overlooked prepping items. This is another one of those. This item will defend you and feed you. Hang on, let me show you what it is. Okay, you can see where we're going with this. Another firearm. But before we get into that, I need you to help me out. Give me a thumbs up down there, please, if you like what you see. If you haven't uh, checked out my other videos on my channel, give them a look. I have a lot of a lot of things on there that will help you save money, uh, help you improve your preps. And, you know, you never know. You might find something there that you don't know. But if you're not a subscriber, right there, hit that link. Hit subscribe. Got to hit it twice. Then click all. Greatly appreciate it. All right. 22 caliber rifle. A lot of people overlook these, but they are very versatile, fun to shoot, great to have. It's that simple. Uh, this one is a Ruger 1022. It's probably like a middle grade as far as 22 rifles go, but on the lesser expensive end, this is probably one of the top models. But you don't have to go with this one. I'm not recommending this rifle. I'm recommending a 22 caliber rifle. Marlin makes some great ones. Uh, Remington. Winchester. There's a lot of good ones out there. But, like I said, this will feed you for hunting small game. It's great. Also, you can use it for defending your home. A lot of people never even consider that because the caliber is so small. But if you don't have anything, this is the one to go with if you want a rifle. If you don't have a lot of money, go with this one. Right there, you can see, right now, that's today's price. Cost you about $300. But you can often catch them on sale between $200 and $250. I think I paid $199 for this one, but that was two years ago. So they've gone up in price since then. But as far as using it for home defense, uh, this weapon is light. It only weighs 4.8 pounds. And it's short from end to end. It's only 37 inches. That makes it easy for you to maneuver with it if you have to. You also have a an accessory rail that comes with it. It screws on right here. Right there on the top. And if you want, you can put your scope on there. With that small game hunting I was talking about. But for home defense, I have to recommend something like this. A laser. Uh, that laser, once you put it on target... If they're within probably in, in your home, anywhere in your home, once you put these on target, once you get it sighted in at the gun range, you're going to be able to just pepper any kind of threat in your home. Once you put that laser on it, you just keep popping because the recoil on this weapon is very, very, very small, very minimal. You're going to stay on target. You're going to stay within a range of about six or eight inches because like I said, it's, you know, that small caliber is just not going to move that gun around. You can just keep rocking and rolling. I don't care how tough a threat is in your home. You put six or eight of these in somebody, they're going to know it. Okay? People say that twenty-two caliber is not a dangerous round. Check those stats right there. That's from the Chicago Police Department. And a lot of people always use the argument, more people are killed with twenty-twos than any other weapon every year. That's true, but it's not because it's a stronger round. It's not a superior round. It's because they're so readily available and cheap. You know, they're very inexpensive. It's, it's don't cost a lot to own a 22 caliber weapon. It's a lot of them out there, but the ammo for these, the practice ammo you can get, like I said, very cheap. You can buy a box of what the, I think it's Remington Thunderbolt. You can buy 500 rounds for about $30, $35. That's plenty of ammo on the practice round. Plenty. Uh, the self-defense ammo is a little more expensive. I'm going to put link a article below for you to go check it out. Now, the numbers in that article are for handguns. So the foot-pounds and the muzzle velocity, when you're using that ammo in a rifle, is going to be higher than what it's showing on that in that article going to be even better than that so that'll give you an idea where you are 
With your practice ammo, you don't want a muzzle velocity less than 1,250 feet per second. If you do get something lower than that, it might cause uh, your gun to malfunction. You know, it won't eject the rounds right, might not feed them right. So get you some good quality practice ammo too. But I think that's good enough for today. Check out that 22 caliber rifle for home defense. Hopefully this will help you out. If it does, share it with your friends. All right. If you got any questions, shoot them to theorlandoprepper at gmail.com. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. And come visit me on Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We do our live stream. Have a lot of fun. Got a great community. Wish you'd come and be part of it if you're not already. If you are, thank you so much. With that, I'm going to say stay strong, stay patriotic to our founding principles, and pray for the United States of America. Orlando Prepper is out.